Hello, hello, Alden Altene here, and I'm with the amazing Melanie Taylor, who's going to be our guest speaker at the Mass Media Tribe Meetup on the Gold Coast tomorrow night, and we're going to be talking about the superpowers of success. Hello, Melanie, welcome. Hi, Alden. How are you? Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't wait to get up there, up into the wall tomorrow. It's going to be great. Yes. Oh, it's just stunning here at the moment. It feels like a summer's day here at the moment. And, in, actually, I'm in Brisbane today, but the Gold Coast was stunning as well earlier today. It's a beautiful part of the world, so we look forward to welcoming you tomorrow night. And this will be the first time you've spoken at a Mass Media Tribe event. Yay! That's yeah, great. I can't wait to meet everyone. It'll be great. It's great. And I spoke at one of your events, of course, uh, probably a year ago or so now, was it? I spoke yes. at one of your meetups. Yeah, my Joyful Entrepreneurs, yes. Yes, Joyful Entrepreneurs Meetup, which is brilliant. So superpowers of success. I'm curious what you're going to be covering tomorrow night. Can you share a little bit with our live viewers uh, what are some of the superpowers of success you're going to be covering tomorrow night? And maybe just a little bit about you too, just a little bit before we go into that so people know about Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Well, I'm a, yeah, obviously a business owner. I've been in business now full-time for two years. So I work as a success mentor, I used to work as a nurse, a palliative care nurse, working with clients who were going through the last stages of their life with cancers, diseases and supporting them at home to, to die well. Uh, and now I've made that transition where I support people to actually live well. And I suppose what I found through my 20 years of nursing was that people were being very successful in life but they were doing it through the stress response, which causes us to feel fatigued, exhausted, working hard, working 12 hour days, weekends. And then what I found was that they got the success they wanted and then they were ready for retirement, ready to you know, enjoy, I suppose, the fruits of all their work that they put in. And then something would happen, you know, it's like sometimes people go on holidays and then they stop and then they get sick. So you can imagine working for so long and then you stop and then something would happen in the body. One of the day partners would actually find out they were sick and then that would proceed to, you know, quite terminal things like cancers and then they wouldn't get to enjoy all of the success that they planned for all of their life. And mm. I realised that I was doing a lot of my life in stress as well. Quite a high achiever. I was, you know, my nursing, doing all sorts of things, studying things like that. And I realised that I had to learn for myself as well. And I now teach uh, being successful, but working through what's called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation response. So that's when you get into that beautiful flow zone um, in your heart. Things come with what I call ease and grace. And so you can have everything or that success that you want and actually be here to enjoy it. Mm, fantastic. As I say, a lot of people spend their health to get their wealth and then they spend their wealth to get their health, right? So, uh, yes. so that is, it is a bit of a trap and particularly for anyone who is a high achiever as I am myself and sometimes when you're on this journey of, you know, constantly achieving goals, there's always another goal, a bigger goal that can trump your current goal, right? So it's like this, this, if you're not careful, you could just end mm. up in this vicious cycle of never feeling like you've actually achieved enough, even though you have achieved a hell of a lot. And so it's a matter of really enjoying the journey, isn't it? This, this roller coaster of life that I say. Mm. Uh, so what are some tips you give, you give people who maybe are on that roller coaster of life and feeling a bit overwhelmed or stressed about, you know, constantly wanting to achieve goals or reach the next thing? Um, and sometimes people who may not feel that they're enough no matter what they do, what, what advice would you give them? Um, stop. <laughs> take, take a few deep breaths and just start practicing some self-reflection. It doesn't have to take long, just can look at every night and notice what you did well. So it's starting to build a new muscle of seeing success in yourself uh, and then that actually starts to ripple out where you become more successful. But otherwise what we do is we just, and I used to do it, tick a box. Yes, done, next. And then I achieved great things. I did really well in academia. And I was just like, yeah, okay, that's great. What's on next? 
and I didn't allow myself to enjoy it at all. And then I suppose I was about the destination, not the journey. And then I, I realised how then I'm not actually really enjoying anything. Everything I was actually doing was in a stress response. And so I say stop because the only way I learned was I was forced to stop. I actually broke my wrist. That was my gift from the universe to say, stop, you're pushing yourself too hard. So if we don't stop, our body will start to break down and force us to stop. So if you recognise that you do have some of these traits, just stop now and then just start to slow down and one of the most powerful things you can actually do which is very simple is deep breathe start implementing some deep breaths during your day and that just starts to slow you down give your brain oxygen which we need the most to have clarity to make decisions uh, and just practicing awareness just noticing what you do that's the key firstly is awareness because if you're not aware of things then you can't change when you become aware, you can start changing, noticing your habits. Uh, and the biggest thing is don't judge yourself. Learn to be back yourself. Um, I mean, I was my hardest critic. No one was telling me to achieve and do all these amazing things at all. It was all me. So I've learned to take the pressure off, have fun, and I suppose I redefined my level of, my measure of success. My measure of success used to be uh, in, I suppose, self-hatred, pushing myself, goals, force, fear. And then I decided that um, my measure of success is self-love now. So being kind to myself. And it's amazing how I've slowed down and everything is going faster. Like I'm getting all these great results. It's like I'm allowing the universe to support me. I'm allowing other people to support me. But before I was on this road on my own, I've got yes. this. Yeah, yes, it's independent. Yes. The lone wolf. There was a guy called Richard Flint I saw years ago speak, at, actually at a Harcourt's conference, American guy, and he said, slow down to speed up. And I always remember that, mm. slow down to speed up. I thought that is just brilliant, exactly what you're talking about. Mm. And realising also that everything has brought us to this point and there's nothing wrong, it just is what it is. You know, we have created everything in our life mm. up to this point. And if we want to create something different, then we need to make some shifts, right? So um, I'm, I'm really curious about your superpowers of success you're going to be chatting about tomorrow night. Can you give us a little sneak peek on some of the topics you'll be covering tomorrow night at our Mass Media Five Meetup on the Gold Coast? Yes, well, I'll be looking at, uh, so I study metaphysics, so I'll be looking, we're going to get into the brain, so get into the subconscious mind, because that's what's driving us. Consciously, we know a lot of things, but our brain is actually working 90% from the subconscious mind. So we need to get into that to actually change our reality so that then we can have this beautiful calm and ease flow going on. So I'll be explaining the brain a little bit first so we can understand why we work the way we do. And then how to access this parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation response. And also we're going to build some new habits so as we can implement. So I'm an action taker. You can learn all these great things in the world, but if you don't actually go away and take action, nothing really changes. So we'll be implementing some actions um, to build success so that and this parasympathetic nervous system. So the slow down really does allow that speed to happen and that velocity that people want in life. Um, and so you can enjoy the journey, actually have fun. Yeah, fantastic. And, you know, Mass Media Tribe is about helping people get their message to the masses with online and offline publicity and online and offline channels. And I find a lot of people want publicity, but there's a hell of a lot of fear that comes up for people when it comes to getting in the media, right? Or they'll make excuses like, oh, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, or I'm just not ready yet, you know, to get media coverage. But really what's going on is there's actually a hell of a lot of fear there around stepping up. So what would you say to people who are living in that fear mm. space? How can they work their way through that? Uh, it's, it's, it all comes down to self-judgment as well. Wow. Because, and I do this in my workshops, is I get people to say something amazing. I say, get up and just say your name and something amazing about you. And everyone goes, oh, God. And you know, I'm like, oh, God. Um, yeah. I'm like, and I just say, that's perfect. I say, just notice that because isn't it interesting? Cause if, you know, and I, someone said, oh, Alwyn, can you please say something amazing about Mal? You would go, 
and mm-hmm. likewise with you know me to you and it's just how yes. we don't notice ourselves we notice other people all mm. the time but we don't notice ourselves so that's the key is learning mm. not to judge ourselves and see the yes. amazingness in us which then enables our body to be in a safe response so then we feel more confident then we want to shine then we want to share with the world but it's always those limiting beliefs and that fear of not getting it right, not saying the right thing. So we paralyze ourselves mm. and then we do nothing. Mm. But everyone has yeah, an amazing absolutely. story. Mm. Absolutely. Everyone has an amazing story. I'm going to be covering that in the morning workshop I'm doing tomorrow, the How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity Workshop. We're going to be talking about story because your story is actually your X factor. You know, you are one in a billion just by being born, as I say to people, and no one has your story and the media are always looking for new stories. So it's a matter of how you then package that up and how you present it so that journalists will want to cover your story for free as opposed to paying for advertising or wasting money on advertising. And and that's what I'll be showing people in the morning at the workshop. And we're going into your superpowers of success with the meetup. We've got a whole lot of giveaways as well tomorrow night at the Quality Hotel Mermaid Waters. And I believe you have a workshop coming up too. I do, I do, I do. Seven Steps for Permission to Receive. That's on Sunday, Sunday morning at the Murray, at the Mafia Hub, it's called. Fantastic. Seven Miller Street it is, yeah. I'm actually there right now just um, doing this live from there. I've got the Speakers Tribe Queensland event on tonight at Beanley Tavern. I'll be heading off there very shortly. Fantastic, Melanie. Thank you so much for coming on. Any final words you'd like to say? to our Facebook Live viewers? Just uh, be kind. (laughs) Be kind to yourself. Uh, That's my past self talking, oh, no, my future self talking to my past self. Um, I was my hardest critic. We're the only one, really, that puts the pressure on ourselves. Um, And so give yourself the opportunity to enjoy the journey. That's that's the most important thing. Yes, enjoy the journey. We're going to have a whole lot of fun tomorrow, so come and join us. Uh, now, so if people want to attend your workshop, where can they connect with you, Melanie? Uh, they can on my website, uh, www.successonpurpose.net.au, and you just go to the events tab, and then you can um, book in. Yeah, be great that's to see you. Come on down. Yay, that's great. And for anyone watching this, thank you so much for joining us on the live or on the recording, if you're watching this right now. Join us at Mass Media Tribe, and you'll get all the updates on all the upcoming events. Now, the two media events on the Gold Coast tomorrow are the last media events I'm doing up until December 19, okay? So it'll be last for about two months. So if you want to find out how you can gain a million dollars worth of free publicity, you can book in for my morning workshop from 9 till 1 tomorrow at the Quality Hotel Mermaid Waters. And then we've got the afternoon off, and at 5.30 p.m. we're going to be having dinner, networking dinner at the Lone Star Tavern downstairs at the Quality Hotel and then we're going upstairs for the meetup with Melanie from 7 till 9 p.m. And we're going to be talking about the superpowers of success and we always get amazing people that come along to the media events, some extraordinary characters and legends of media and and uh, in the, anything in the creative arts. I, I do get a lot of very interesting people that come to my events, so including Melanie. So I can't wait to see you. Thank you so much, Melanie, okay. for coming and being our guest speaker tomorrow. Join us at Mass Media Tribe and let us help you get your message to the masses. I always say shine bright and allow that light to light up others around you. Lift people's spirits with more good news. Melanie, do you have a closing statement that you'd like to share? Um, Just keep going, never give up. That's my my, my, my motto. That's my motto. Five seconds. Um, You know, Mel Robbins' work. Just keep going, never give up. Never give up. And remember to slow down to speed up. (laughs) Yeah. Slow down to speed up. (laughs) Fantastic. Thank you, Melanie. We'll see you tomorrow. Mass Media Tribe, Quality Hotel, Mermaid Waters on the Gold Coast. And the workshop for anyone who wants to go, just connect on Mass Media Tribe, go to events, and you'll see everything in there. Thank you, Melanie. We'll see you soon. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.